What's up everybody, this is Butterfish Tank sitting here in front of my tank and today we're basically going to talk about Duddy Bag Care. So, Duddy Bags are probably one of the most colorful fish in the world. I mean, just look at this guy. They're Not only do they have really bright colors, the pink or purple and the yellow, um, but it also has the very bright, um, it, it like has very bright colors in its body which just looks amazing. However, some things are required to keep this fish and this is why I would not recommend this as a beginner fish for a community reef tank because um, the reason that it's not a beginner fish in my opinion is that um, they often have um, a very very like bad temperament um, they actually really like to pick at other fish um, and that for that reason you have to get some pretty hardy fish that they can't, um, you know, get any damage from, you know, getting chased or stuff like that. Like get chased and get parasites. Some fish will just get chased and then they'll get parasites right away. It's that simple. And if you keep a dirty bag with them, that's just a no-go, you know. So, um, I mean, to like to like make sure that your dirty bag um, doesn't kill other fish, you should get some other fish that are also kind of semi-aggressive but also very hardy. Um, but you know that's not hard to find just don't get fish like the cover band butterfly fish for example or some very sensitive tanks because this guy will chase fish that is three times bigger than its own size so it will go crazy on whatever it can find so um, you know it's you gotta take that into consideration um, because you know what I'm just going to do like this on the timer alright just like that um, it was just to make sure that the lights didn't go out, but, uh, you know, um, where did I come from? Oh, yeah, um, this fish is, you, I mean, my dirty bag is very weird. Just look at that. Look at that. Why does it do that? I have never seen a dirty bag in my life dig up sand, and now I got it on video. That's amazing. Um, I have always wondered, what the hell is all this sand on my rocks? And what has happened down here, look at this, there's like a cave right here. And I think my theory is that um, he dug that cave because he really likes worms. Um, all types of worms, bristle worms, spaghetti worms, um, you know, just like all worms that he can find. He'll basically just eat them. And uh, what he probably has d done is that he has looked at that seagrass he found out that there's a lot of spaghetti worms in there and he was like, mmm, I'm gonna take that. So he is going underneath that and then he can crawl under there at night and then wait till the, the worms get get out of there so that he can actually get some food. Um, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he does that because this is very, very strange. A very strange behavior for a dirty bag. Um, but you know... Um, my dirty bag is weird. All my fish seems to be just so different. I mean, I don't know why, but they just do so f some weird things. I get all these weird fish. Just look at this. Look at this. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for messing up my agropaw, you asshole. <laughs> god dang it. My god, man. This guy is crazy. Anyways, um, the thing you have to take into consideration about this dirty bag is that they are carnivores. Um, and they will basically only eat meat. However, I have found out that they also sometimes will accept vegetable foods as long as there's a little bit of meat in there. And they won't take any damage. Um, they don't, they don't ha seem to have any problems with digesting it or anything like that. They just seem to like eat everything that you offer them pretty much. Um, my daddy bag just doesn't seem to like cyclobees that much. He only eats the bigger cyclobees. Um, but the smaller ones, he's not really interested in those. My shrimp, he's not a big a fan of those either. But um, Fano Marine Ultra Base Color L is like the best food that 
he really likes. And I can, what is he doing? He has, he has taken some more sand. He has taken some more sand. What is he doing? I want to see what this guy is doing. My God, man, he's crazy. I'm getting crazy of this guy. But anyways, um, you know, um, they they are very good. Um, you know, they they are reef safe as long as you don't got small shrimp. Um, they will eat small shrimp. They will eat pretty much small shrimp, small worms, and stuff like that. But they don't eat snails, crabs. Um, or anything like that, but s something like shrimp, they really like that. But bigger shrimp, I got a, a, a big skunk cleaning shrimp right here. And uh, you know, he doesn't really, he picks at him sometimes, but it's not the way that he wants to eat him. But he just wants him to stay over there. Um, he wants him to be there and yeah, he wants to take the territory of the aquarium because this shrimp was here first. So the whole aquarium was his territory, right? And he wants the territory. He needs a territory. So you will see a place where he will defend um, from all other fish. You can see he sometimes chases away the chromis. But he doesn't nip their fins. You can see the chromis have no nips of their fins. They're completely healthy and have no damages whatsoever. Which is kind of weird, but you know. That's how dirty bags are, apparently. Um, it's a very active fish um, it will swim, swim around and explore and it when you sit in front of the t of the tank it will especially come out it it can like when it sees you it's like oh my god what are you for an ugly thing ugly humans and uh, what, look at that i mean that is so weird no 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 you didn't take any sand in your mouth did you my god this guy is a beast Anyways, um, the fact about dirty bags is that again they're very aggressive. So if you have experience with aggressive fish, you know how it works, and you sh you would probably not get stressed by chasing the others because he doesn't. My dirty bag doesn't seem to like nip at their fins, but he just seems to like sh like hunt them away. Like he doesn't like nip at them or anything like that. He is not violent like so. He just chases them away because he don't want them to be there. Um, and the fish will, of course, react and swim away, you know, it's, that's just how it works, because they will accept that he's the boss of the aquarium, and he will be the boss of the aquarium, um, you know, and that is the thing you also have to take into consideration, um, um, and, uh, just for your guys' information, um, you know, this guy is not a sand sifter, however, mine is just weird, as I said before, my fish are weird, um, and that's just what they, you know, do. My fish are just weird. I don't know if there's something wrong with the water or anything like that, but all my fish get all crazy and weird. I don't know what happening, what's happening right here, but, you know, that's the same with all my freshwater fish. They're also just so strange and different. It's, it's weird. It's weird. I don't understand it, guys. But anyways, um, you know, they are, then they are, they're an easy fish to keep. When it comes to water parameters and you know um, food and stuff like that, because it will eat pretty much anything um, if it's hungry enough, and it will also just you know it will it it isn't it isn't very sensitive, so it's very hardy to you know those water parameter changes like salinity and stuff like that, which is a problem with beginners, you know. Um, nitrate levels are not a big problem with them either. They never get parasites or diseases. That's very rarely seen because. They only get parasites or ick whenever some other fish got it. They never start getting the ick by themselves um, because they are so hardy, which is kind of cool. And um, so I wouldn't recommend it as a beginner fish like so because of the temperament. But else, it's a very um, hardy fish, um, definitely. But you know, a beautiful fish that will just light your aquarium up with the most beautiful colors. I mean, look at that purple right there. You will never see such purple or pink, I don't know what you will call it. Um, you know, you will never see that in a coral. Not that bright right there. I mean, this coral is kind of pink, you know. But it's like a very light pink. It's not like really dark pink like this guy is. So, I mean, I think that um, he will definitely light up your aquarium with both yellow and purple, which is some very beautiful colors. Um, I don't understand why a lot of people don't keep them in bigger tanks either because 
They just look cool. I mean, they're a cool, adi cool addition to the tank. They just look amazing. Um, they're a little bit expensive, but you know. So, yeah, that's pretty much all on Duddy Bag Care. A cool fish that I definitely can recommend, uh, but not quite a beginner fish. So take that into consideration, even though I'm a beginner. But I have a lot of experience with aquariums, so yeah. See you guys in another video.